This is Loris Trammell with another Take Lessons short demo. Um, she's been asked by a lot of prospective uh, voice clients uh, about how to get a dark colored tone. She's going to demonstrate a couple different voices um, and the proper technique. <laughs> okay, so what I'm actually going to try to do is um, uh, the kind of people want to know how do you get a kind of a bluesy sound, you know, with still good tone. Um, blues is known for rasp. And the way to do a rasp is you have to pull your shoulders back, pull your chin forward, and feel where you're, this part here, when you swallow, if you see, it goes up and down. Hold it in one position, take a breath in, it'll drop. Hold it where it is, don't let it go up and down. And what you're going to do is you're going to just sink full through the throat. You're not going to try to nasalize anything, and you're going to end up with a, a a sort of a drier, raspier, you know, a little bit more bluesy. Your range is going to be a little limited. If you try to vault, you're going to you're going to strain. So if you want a blues kind of approach to it, you're you're not going to do a whole bunch of acrobatics. And uh, we're going to try to just sing a clip uh, from a song that you should know that in uh, the two different kinds of voices, which is uh, "Candle in the Wind" from Elton John, and it's. And it seems to me, if you do a, a full cover, a full kind of head voice, you have this tone, and it's, and it seems to me, you lived your life like a candle in the wind, and it's very much up here, right? It's a nice, it's a nice full R&B sound. If you want a very, uh, a lot of color, then you keep your throat open, and it's locked while you're singing from here, up here where the head is. And if you want it more bluesy, you drop the head. You lock your glottis down and you end up with full column of air. And it seems to me you live your life like a candle in the wind. Never knowing who to cling to when the rain sets in. Just sit back, take a breath in. Feel this move down. You can feel it with your fingers. Feel it move down and then hold it down there and keep it down there. And when you sing, you want to sing from this place instead of this place. So that's the thing. And it doesn't take very long. You practice. It'll stay put for you. It takes a little bit, maybe a couple weeks, but it'll stay put. Once it stays put, then you have this more uh, dynamic that you can work with and you just have to be careful with it. Don't try to sit there and be Mariah Carey and oversing or you're going to strain. Okay, that's it. Good luck with the blues.